I'm hiking up Blanchard Mountain, which is in the northern part of Washington. And it's uh, right off of the San Juan Islands where I do a lot of boating. But Blanchard Mountain was a uh, logging mountain. So you get to see a lot of remnants of the, the logging where there's stumps all over the place. And uh, now it's grown back, it was set aside, but it was also put into trust. And the schools have that trust. And right now, the, uh, the budget is um, short, a couple million dollars or billion dollars, I don't know what. But, uh, so now there's talk of, of uh, doing some more logging to make up for that. So right here we got a stump, and right there we got a stump. There's stumps all over. Um, looks like mainly cedar, but uh, you know, I guess that's what happens You know, when you need money for things and you've got state land set aside. Of course, everybody's fighting it and, and all that, and I wish them the best. And I wish them all kinds of luck on trying to figure out what to do. But it just kind of goes to show, there's much more stumps. And it just goes to show, you know, what we do with our, our lands, other than just having them for really nice places for people to go hiking in. We're going to end up at a place called Oyster Dome. It's called that because this part of the state, or up in here, is where they do, they did, they still do some har our oyster harvesting. But it was a big, huge area for oyster harvest. And a couple of months ago, I actually had the opportunity to help on a film a documentary of one of the um, Japanese families because the oyster fields are all harvested with the Japanese and then of course they were all sent off to intern internment camps but they came back but a really interesting talk on the Japanese and the oyster industry up here so I'm kind of right back up there and uh, working my way up the mountain All right, so I'm at a junction here. I could either go one way or the other. It'll still keep getting me where I want to go, but I'm gonna head that direction back towards the sound uh, and hopefully get some great views. And, uh, but at, at a juncture like this, it's always a good time to just take that little second to assess how you're doing. Um, if you got any hot spots around your feet, if your pack's adjusted right, you know, take these little moments to run through a little checklist and uh, you know keep going. Try and try and head off aches and pains before they start. So, a little water and time to go. We just finished up the uh, kind of the connector trail. And if we keep heading that way on the Larry Reed Trail, we get to the Samish Overlook, which is a place you can drive to just to look out over the San Juans. We're gonna go, keep going up Blanchard Mountain, and uh, this is the Lily Lake Max's Shortcut uh, Junction. I'm not sure what this is called, but it's where a squirrel comes. This is kind of their little spot to go through things and they make a big pile. So it's pretty cool. A few of those on this trail. I haven't seen any deer track, so I wonder if there is any deer up here.
this little plant is the trillium and it is a very delicate plant so you don't want to ever pick them um, that's what I was told there was a lot more about them but that's the trillium Okay, so we've come to another junction and uh, this trail coming up here, I think that comes from the Samish or from down on the road, the actual highway down by the road and comes up and interconnects uh, from Chuckin at Drive. That's a lot of people take that, that route, but uh, you can't leave your car down there. So um, I chose a different one. So I could go along this trail, not very far and get to Lily Lake where there's camping. I'm gonna head out to Oyster Dome. Um, hope there's some way to do something there, but that's where we inevitably want to be. Um, we may come back and do that route uh, on the way home tomorrow. So we'll make a nice loop out of it. We're really neat up here. So this has been a real interesting trail. It uh, kind of went from a pretty good climb to a good uh, butt burner climb for a while there. Uh, for a few miles and then it just kind of came onto the top of the mountain up here and I've been walking along probably a good mile just walking through the forest it's just beautiful there's lots of uh, skunkweed growing just beautiful skunkweed and uh, just a beautiful trail once you get up here it got got pretty butt burnery there for a while um, there's some good water source right here It's not too far away. So, but it's a real, well, let's see here. So another junction, Lily Lake, North Butte. This is like Oyster Dome, Samish Overlook. So we've got lots of different trail junctures right in this little area. So kind of watch what you're doing, I guess. But we are still heading out to Oyster Dome. Awesome. All right, so now I am right at the Samish Overlook Chuckanut Drive, Lily Lake, Oyster Dome Junction. Um, so this is definitely the trail if people drive up and they leave their cars right down on the side of the highway. This is how they come up. That looks like a good tough climb. All right, so I'm like right on this cliff. This is pretty intense, pretty awesome. But uh, I brought up the REI Quarter Dome and I did make fancier big uh, whoopee slings, but you know, I am not going to need them. So I'm gonna go find the, the actual straps. So oh, they're on here. Um, so I'm gonna use their actual straps. Why not? I didn't think I'd find so many small trees down here. So I'm kind of down in this little chute over here. It's a lot more protected. Um, you know, that's what so you do with hammocks. You find a protected spot. Um, and with tents too. You know, it does be out in the open if you don't have to. So I was saying kind of funny right now is a lot of people have their opinions about this hammock and it's you know they're I'm I'm probably in the worst conditions possible conditions that I ever really want to be in any hammock right now and I have full confidence in it. I definitely want the door a certain way.
the door uphill. <laughs> All right, hopefully we got enough distance here. All right, I think I got it figured out now. Pretty incredible spot. Might need to take another wrap on those. Another wrap on those tree huggers. All right, so I took another wrap around the trees. Okay. Low. Get a little tighter. go flip her back around stow some gear I think I will go for the buck net tonight just because it has all my organizers on it much more technical than that. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Just gonna tie it up for now. Uh, yeah. We are on the side of a cliff. Hanging off camber. Yeah. Nice. Cool. All right, now for the pad. I'll nail those down later. Getting a little food on. All right, got the uh, got the uh, Biolite cruising hard, and I'm um, gonna try Chana Masala, Editor's Choice, summer 2016, and I've got some app cinnamon apple crisp. That looks like it's getting pretty close. Yeah, this is a. Uh, like, I don't know if there's a good, uh, people have fires up here or not. And so, you know, I didn't want to, uh, becoming really kind of a little more conscious about when I have fires. We have a ton of fires in this country and we have a lot of them up here. So, you know, I'm, uh, kind of, you know, this little biolite's a great way to go. I can really contain it. And, um, like any wood stove, I guess any wood stove would be a great choice. Um, but it looks like some people have had some fires up here. But just uh, beautiful out here, looking out at all the all the uh, ships that anchor out there. It's starting to rain a little bit. But I uh, kind of expected that. Not very hard. But uh, we'll get some food on, and uh, we're doing a lot better. Good morning, all. Well, it just got fogged in, and had a rainy, windy all night. Hoping for something better this morning. 
now we are heading or kind of doing a loop today and I'm gonna head over to Lily Lake to see what that looks like and then there's another lake Lizard Lake right after that but, uh, gotta make my way down through the tangle here that was very cool last night though so I'll see you at Lily Lake breakfast. This is kind of a stump graveyard around here. Seeing what the forest looks like years after it's been logged. Look at all those stumps. Wow. We're really at the top. I mean, those are big huge tall trees way back when standing tall on top of this mountain you can see these cables these are all logging cables wow all right so here we've come to lily lake pretty lake Lily Lake Camp, hiker camp, horse camping, fantastic, look at that, wow, let's go check out the hiker camp. Here's one of the Lily Lake camps and it's just beautiful, you could, definitely hammocks, you could sling a ton of hammocks up here, uh, looks, you know, you probably have a few tents, there's another spot right over there, you know, you could have, you could, you definitely string a ton of hammocks. Probably, you know, four or five tents up here. Pretty nice. And it's uh, looking right out at the lake. Let me spin you around so you can see. You know, just a beautiful spot right on the lake. Yeah, this would be worth it. Look at that incredible old stump. So those holes or where they would put their springboards in. I had a few lessons learned. I will start with the hammocking situation. That was a blast where I hung. But the wind was whirling around quite a bit. Um, that tarp, which everybody has a big concern about, it's about maybe anywhere from three and a half to four feet wide coming down on the sides. Uh, I didn't get anything on the sides. Um, it's an 11 foot long tarp, so it's as long on the ridge line as any of my other tarps really um, but that's where I got water that with the wind swirling around and kind of had to put the hammock up that uh, oh, wow, nice bridge that um, there was water on the uh, bug net so you might have to come up with some kind of a wow that's really cool some kind of a uh, like an end piece or something like that, a little sock uh, to put over the end. It doesn't have to be heavy weight or anything. Um, something really lightweight. Um, the other thing, uh, I need to bring more batteries if I'm going to do live chatting. <laughs> I really was pushing it hard. Luckily I had my BioLite and I could do some charging. Um, but I will be, I'm sure, tapped out by the time I get home. But uh, that and when I ran out of memory card, I grabbed one of my older memory cards and uh, it won't do 4K. So I had to shut my uh, computer down to a lower res. So 
grab the right card. This side of the mountain has actually been a real pleasant trail. I, I wouldn't say it's better or worse than the other side, maybe a little more gradual. Uh, many of the trails up here are shared trails with mountain bikes and horses. So make sure if you're doing one of the, oh wow, nice big burnout. Um, if you're doing something like bringing dogs or Whatever, make sure you understand the rules um, and keep your eyes up, you know, in case there's a mountain biker coming flying by. But I can see, you know, this is a very nice, uh, well-loved area, and I can see why they're probably going to fight now to keep it not logged. But we'll see. But if you want to know more about some of the equipment. Now subscribe and I'll be doing reviews on quite a bit of it. Um, I will say that the Njinji liner sock, darn tough ankle sock, worked really well in these uh, Solomon shoes that I'm wearing. Um, not, a, not a problem at all, my feet are just, just fine. We've been doing a lot of downhill right now. The sun's coming out a little bit, that's pretty nice. So that, uh, you know, that kind of just pushes your toes forward. God, this is beautiful. Oh, take a look at this. Wow. There's quite a bit of water. Um, you know, not a ton, but there's enough to keep you going if you're going through your water. Did enjoy that. Did enjoy the MSR trail shot. I think I'll get a longer hose. We got, they're definitely fighting the, uh, we want to have it as lightweight as possible. Um, so they got it right at five ounces. I can see where maybe they were cutting that little tube until they got it to five ounces. So I'm gonna try a little longer tube on it. But it worked really well and really super easy to clean. And it's got a double filter all built in. It's really easy to test. But fantastic. Yeah, the shoe socks were great. Uh, these Fjall Raven pants were great. Um, they're nothing too spectacular as far as features, but they're, they're built out of a, like a tent fabric. So they definitely dry really fast and they're lightweight. But I'll be doing more uh, reviews and uh, look for the live chat that we did last yesterday. Those are great. And uh, hopefully I'll be able to do that again. Um, but it all depends on if you have reception. So. All right, well, I will see you on the trail. Thanks a lot. Bye now.